This training video is on the use of the Sniffer Downloader, the third of these three downloaders that are built into Download Surgeon. So if we select that button, you can see that it opens a little Sniffer window. I normally move mine to the upper right hand corner of my screen because for me that's the most comfortable place and the most unobtrusive place. And essentially once it's up there, then the way that it works is we go to a video on a site and we load that video. Um, so let's click a video and you can see that even before we started it playing it has already detected this video. Now on some sites it will do it that way. On other sites you might have to start the video playing. But once you've started the video playing it should detect it within 5 to 10 seconds at the most. And once it detects it, let's look at what it shows us. It shows us that it detected this at 1441 or 241 in the afternoon. It shows us that it's an MP4. It shows us that it's 25 megabytes. And this is the fourth video it's detected uh, while it has been open. So once it's detected it, then we have several options. We can either click the preview, and that will preview it so we can see what it is. And that may not make a lot of sense to you with only one video. And Clearly it's unnecessary there, but if you have four or five or six videos that you've detected, you may not remember which is which. And in that case, you can select one of them, click the preview button, and it will give you a preview of that video so you can determine whether or not that was the video you were interested in. So that's what the preview button does. Remove will actually remove or delete it. And the download video will download this video and save it as an MP3 and the download audio will download this video, strip the audio from it, and save the audio as an mp3. So let's go ahead then and go to a second video. And as you can see, it's detected this video. Time is 250, mp4, 52 megabytes. Now let's go ahead and just show you how this download process works. It's very similar to the other two sniffer modules. We have the option of clicking either one of these. So I'm going to click video. We're going to save it as a video. Let's call this Vimeo test. And then let's click save. And as you can see, it starts the downloading process here. But what I wanted to show you is that the color changes. Um, Essentially, the reds are those that have not yet been downloaded, and once you've started the download and it finishes, it will be green. So that way, as you're looking through a list of things here, you can see which ones you've downloaded and which ones you haven't. And then the last thing I'd just like to mention to you is that this sniffer module works on 85 to 90% of the sites out there. but if you go to a site and you're trying to have it detect something and you start the video playing or start the audio playing and it doesn't detect anything, you may be wondering, well, is the sniffer module working correctly or is it just this site? And in that case, I would encourage you to go to the help button over here. You can go down to sniffer test. So the sniffer test, I think, can be quite helpful for you because you may not know whether or not a particular video or a particular site falls into that category of the 10 or 15 percent that the sniffer can't detect. So if you run the sniffer test and it comes back and it's positive and it's working correctly, then you know that that's just a video that you're not going to be able to get. And contrarily, if it comes back negative, then you know that at least that the sniffer is not working correctly and you need to get it fixed first before you go back and try this particular video or this particular website again to see whether or not you can download from it. So with that we'll conclude this training video on the use of the sniffer downloader.